Here recently, I have shared some information showing the damage done to the Earth. These massive cracks that have formed from the recent earthquakes. The ensuing swarm after the initial blast. Let's just put it that way. And it's been kind of ongoing ever since, even though it's dying down. Some of the experts now saying that there's at least a 10% chance of a magnitude 7 still throughout the coming days to finish out the week. So with that said, they're also stating that if one was to actually hit down here on the San Andreas, that this thing would be 707 times more powerful than what we just witnessed. That's 707 times more powerful than the quake we just witnessed. That's based on a 9.0 earthquake. And needless to say, that would be destruction on a massive scale because these areas are heavily populated. When you get down there following the one fault that runs south out of this area, from Ridgecrest, it runs down toward Los Angeles. Before you get to Los Angeles or before you get to Santa Barbara, there is the San Andreas Vault that runs through there. So, this also shows that there's a lot of smaller fractures and fault lines connected all along the way. And we've seen some swarming north of this spot during this time frame as well. And knowing that this area of the San Andreas hasn't released any kind of activity and is still building pressure, this could have added to it in some way. So these experts are warning that, you know, with everything kind of heating up down here, there could be more events in the offing. As I always say, make sure that you have a plan if you're in an earthquake-prone area. Especially on the coastline. That includes for a tsunami. All the above. I will leave a link below. Make sure to join me over on Twitter for breaking news and on DLive for exclusive content you're only going to find there. Links below.